<laughs> Kakolin's gonna let me do it. Don't steal it, Kakolin. Don't steal it, Kakolin. Beads. Let's go, we did it. Ah, run! I get life steal from this. <laughs> I get life steal from my serrated. Let's go, we did it. Ah, run! What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be playing some Erling in the slow lane, a little bit of a play-by-play -play for you guys. The reason I wanted to play Erling is that one, I think he's probably one of the worst warriors in solo. Um, he used to be one of the best warriors in solo, and we were talking about it earlier, me and my team. We were talking about how OP Erling was on release. He had a cripple on his two, he had haste of Vitalis on his one, he had uh, better versions of his three. Uh, it, it's just insane. Also, look at this. This is pretty funny. It says, actually, this is very, I love you, fun. Okay, I said, and I love you, random citizen. The reason I said that is, I don't know if you guys have seen... Uh, Megamind, such a good movie. That is honestly one of my favorite animated movies ever. Maybe Loyal can put the clip that I'm talking about um, right now. Who would I be without you? I love you, Metro Man! And I love you, Random Citizen! <laughs> and I love you, Random Citizen. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be playing Erling in the solo lane today. I have a bit of a cool build I'm going to be going for. Show that on screen right now as well. We're going to be going at Ninja Tabai, Berserker, Sledge into serrated edge shogun's kin size okay so it's a bit of a bruiser build but more of an auto attack focused damage build because i think to make erling viable you have to build him damage that's why he's good in jungle he can just blink on people and one shot people so um yeah that's that's the build that we're going to be going for today we'll go um since we are going to be going more damage focused i think we should probably go blink beads so we'll start the game with blink we'll try to rush into ninja tabai we'll go a couple extra multi pots just for the laning phase and then, yeah, come out of base with Ninja Tabai. Ninja, once we have Ninja Tabai Berserkers, we'll actually be pretty strong in lane. We'll be able to trade really well. Kind of like how you can with Ama. Not going to go Frostbound. Just kind of doesn't seem to fit the build as well. The CCR from Sledge and the better tankiness you get from it is going to carry us throughout most of the game for survivability. Have Check our ping real quick. All right, we're doing good on ping. Doing good on ping. So pretty nice server. Yeah, Erling used to be absolutely broken. I don't know if you guys played when he was what he was, but oh. he was fun. He was fun. The build used to be because there was a Witchblade. Witchblade used to have physical prots on it and attack speed. So you'd go Ninja Tabai Witchblade on Erling solo, and you would just max your one. And since your one had Fatalis, you would just run at people and just out-trade them really, really hard. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start my three just so I can shield this and not take too much damage from it. Don't even have to Here. pop a bot. Ooh, this Loki has a decoy as well. Who would have thought that a Loki has a decoy? Loki jungle, you don't see that every day. Okay, Colin gonna be starting lane. Actually not too bad for him, considering he doesn't even have to get credit for his blue. I think maybe if I just pop a pot here, I can tank these. Just shield it. So Erling works really well with uh, an attack speed build just because of his one, but also because of his passive. He gets uh, basically like a, a mini kin size. I'm gonna hit him with my two here, group up the wave. He's gonna hit me, which is good by him. For himself. We're gonna get totem for our team. He's coming over to us, but it's no big deal. We'll get totem for the team. He still has some minions to worry about here. You can tank these. And I'll root him in it. I can take his damage a good bit, trade with him. Oh, I have a disco passive. That's what you love to see in solo. Might be able to kill this guy once my root comes back up. Maybe? Oh, maybe yes. This should be a kill. Unless I miss. Might be a kill either way if he panics. Try and hit him with all my autos. No, I couldn't reach him. That's unfortunate. Drop kill. No, maybe, we're getting, maybe we can trick him here. Act like we uh, don't know what we're doing and then blink on him. Let's see. Does he see that I have blink? He's running away. We can zone him from these minions. We'll pop these pots and heal with those while we wait. Just poke him, I guess. Get a little true damage going. Bit of unfortunate one there, because we definitely dropped that. My Erling skills are rusty. Kappa. Let's see if he jumps here. Okay, that's good. We might be able to kill him now. Yeah, this should be a kill. First blood, even if we die, it's worth it. Let's go. We didn't die. 
definitely going for that just because if we get the first blood and die, it's still worth it because even if he kills us, our kill will be worth more because it's first blood. My bitch basically tried to auto cancel as well as possible. I gotta run. Falling back. Oh, enemy spotted. Hopefully we can get our balloon back. We don't have TP. TP back in, so he's pretty strong now. And I am very, very weak because I'm 1 HP. Erling's auto attack cancels work pretty normally. Just like any other character. Just hit your auto, then click the ability. So we have our ninja tab by now. We'll grab some wards as well so we can just be as safe as possible. So we can just trade with this colon on cooldown. Just fight him really hard, especially because we have a disco passive. Disco passive is a soul laner's best friend, like I said before. Just the extra power you get just makes it so hard for the enemy souls to trade into you. You basically just win trades by default because they have power that you they can't get. Or you have power that they cannot get that you do not have the option to have unless they also have a disco. But shouldn't happen. So we need to get these. Oh, I only got one ward. What? Oh, I bought two. That's weird. Read him here and force a jump, maybe. If he jumps, then we can be Bink after him. The attack speed steroid. I'm not going to ult him because he's going to transform so he wouldn't die. So we just poke him really hard. Also, my autos are desync. That's one of the worst things of Erling. Proc our warriors again. The thing is, Erling's actually pretty good at getting those uh, warriors busting stacks up. Just constantly throwing out his pin. Because the cooldown is longer than the, the uh, time it takes to get another hit of your Warriors Blessing, so you always proc it. I should go full CDR to start the game, so look, ready, boom. There's another one, he didn't jump in time as well. Keep trying to get totems for our team, we'll get a high ward out. Erling can still bully some lanes, especially if the enemy doesn't play it correctly, so. Another Warriors proc? Let's go. Look at that. That is OP. I'm doing 100 damage with my 2 every time because of the true damage. And it's hitting for 74. Around 70. Sploosh should be coming up soon. That's his jump. That's his ult. Hello, Vamana. I should be able to 1v2 here. Hello, Vamana. That's his ult. I'll probably just kill this guy. Oh no, he put me in combat. We can kill this guy after. What I should have done there is waited for the Vamana's dash because you can actually root Vamana dash. So he would have not been able to get away ever. This blue's about to be up. No. It's up. <laughs> he says completed. I just say no. <laughs> and then it spawns. I just knew they would spawn him because they did it at the same time as our blue, so they're just coming up very soon. Since our blue was already up. Just gonna try and fast clear this because uh we're going back. Get all the last hits there. We'll also do totem in the meantime as well. We do it pretty fast. Auto attacks OP. So mink this blue for the extra attack speed, just burst this down. Alright, so I want to back. I just want to do that as soon as possible so I can back as soon as possible so I can run back to lane as soon as possible so I don't miss any minions as soon as possible. No, the last one didn't make sense. That last as soon as possible didn't make sense. We'll mink our way back. Good luck. Be right yeah, so Erling's kind of gutted in this lane, which sucks because, you know, the reason they've been even busy. kept nerfing him, I guess, I don't remember the last time they nerfed him, but... Up to the last point that they did nerf him, they were nerfing him because he was so disgusting in the jungle, so... It's just another one of those situations. Like, same thing with Robin. Robin used to be really viable in solo. He was a really good, like, fun character there, and then he started being played in the jungle. And then they started nerfing him, changing him to that. I mean, he's even an assassin. Kind of missed him there, but... I don't think this guy... Should be doing this, buddy. Try and get in front of him here. Nice, we got him in the... Mit mitigation from our ult plus uh, the heal saved us. Try and burst this down real quick. Pop another chalice just in case Vamana comes over. I'm gonna clear this wave in the back for my berserkers because it's 1350 and I'll get enough from this wave basically. As long as I get last hits as well. That's some good damage. We're back for berserkers now. Kakolin usually should bully me, to be honest. Like, he should kind of own me in this lane, but right there, I kind of liked everything he did. His only problem is that he's two levels behind, and I think he probably only had full boots or maybe tier one of this, whereas I had tier two, and I got a two level lead with a disco passive, so it's just not a fight that he'll win at this point. Be 
right get these wards out play safe whenever you're just trying to fight a lot in solo obviously extra pots would be nice but at the same time you want to make sure that you're not getting ganked so that you don't just int into them and then throw away your lead so the two best wards you can really go for pretty standard are, are those they are i guess what you could call late notice wards because it's like right when the Vamana, in this case the Vamana, but in, the, in any case the jungler, it's like right when the jungler is going to be ganking your lane, right? So you could also get some higher wards, like one right here and then one like right here. And that'll tell you, but that won't tell you when they're coming low. And a lot of times that's where people come from, so. Should be able to own this guy. I'm going to wait for his jump. This is ult. I root him anyway. Feel bad for him. They are fighting in mid though. He just decoyed my wave. What is he doing? I can maybe go help him out here. No good. Mana's coming this way. Did he? Cancel that. I'm not going to go all the way over there. So yeah, if you didn't know about Erling is that his one, if you uh, if it's on cooldown and you're autoing something, the each time you auto it comes back up. So... And it used, like I said at the beginning of the video, it used to have Fatalis on it. Eventually they switched it to the Mink to make it more balanced, so you had to use your escape to get the Fatalis effect. But even that was broken, so they took it away. But it used to, the Fatalis effect used to be on the one, so every time you clicked one, boom, you just start you just start Fatalising people. You have no movement penalty. It was ridi ridiculous. And the thing is, people didn't even realize it was ridiculous for a while. When Erling was first released, People didn't think he was that good. They thought he was kind of like a bad character. Then he started getting played. And especially Aurora. Aurora played him in the support role with the best in mid lane on Raw. And his two used to cripple. So what they would do is they would just two people and if Raw one ult them. They would, they would just use the Raw one into the ult because they were crippled and rooted. They couldn't move unless they use like a CC immune ability or some way to get out, right? Like beads. And if the beads were down, then it was just free. And if it was a support without beads, it was free. And yeah, the character just... Be people started to notice, hey, this character is actually pretty insane. And if he was released today, oh, it would be disgusting. Although that's kind of how most characters are released nowadays. Yeah, I have a fight going on here. See if I can blink ult here, just wait a second. For the CC immunity, get them both. Nice, we got them both. I was just waiting for the CC immunity. I could have gone a little bit earlier, but I don't think I would have saved them because if, if I just blink taunted into the CC immunity, I wouldn't have saved them, right? They're still going to be getting hit. Just gonna follow rotation there. Kakon went low. I saw him based on the ward and just went to help out my team. That's also why those wards are good. Gives you some good, valuable information. It's not just about ganks. Gonna, they're on pyro, but this is a big wave. They should be good on it either way. Yeah, looks like we're good. It's actually pretty nice for us. Could have maybe helped him, but it's pretty nice because then I can push this wave and then back and use the pyro bait, uh, buff out of base. Get a little root there. Sometimes it's actually good to max your root. No, no troll. I think if you're trying to make Erling viable in solo right now, that maxing the root might be the way to go. Obviously, the maxing three is nice because you get the extra shield and you get the attack speed as well if you decide to use that. But I mean, if you just throw this out on no cooldown, problem. 265 damage, that's just like unmissable poke. Now, if they have a way to avoid it, like a colon does, he can just jump it every time, then it's probably not good too. Or if it's like a cam and he can jump it, then it's not good, you know. But should I just run this guy down? Oh, he just deformed. This is ult, though. He deformed, so. Can't really chase him down. I might as well just go proxy. Alright, we won't proxy this way, but we'll get these high wards out real quick and then go for the proxy. Now that uh, it's getting a little bit later in the game, these high wards will be more vi uh, valuable, and I also want a proxy, so. I don't even need to really use too many abilities on that. I could put point zero. It does increase the damage mitigation and the heal, but we don't really need that. We should have a ward to see if a mana comes over here. I mean, we one-shot this anyway, so... Even if he comes over here, he's level 10, I'm level 14, I would just probably kill him. I'm using the Pokemon Trainer skin. My Blink's up in 3, I can make make a play. I have 129 power, and I'm still pretty tanky. This Disco Pass is definitely helping a lot. 
Oh, hello, Pomana. Hello, Harry. Oh, enemy ultimate down. This will be a little bit awkward here. I just extended the mana ult quite a bit. Enemy missing nice. Blink. Maybe blink on this Hera. Don't put me in combat, Sobek. Where are you at, Hera? <laughs> Argus? I don't think so. Right, let's run back. The friend left. Erling can st still do some Erling things sometimes, okay? Don't get it twisted. And the thing is that they're actually, I mean, the items are suited for him right now. You know, Berserkers is a pretty good item in general, and I think it's uh, definitely an item that Erling would like to buy, as you can see. But the only reason I'm actually able to do most of what I'm doing right now is because this Disco Passive really shouldn't be bowling the way I am. Disco Passive is a, a trump card. Basically, there's like global ultimates that are trump cards. So like if you're 1v1ing in solo and um, you have a Neethal that'll help you, then that's a trump card. Uh, if you have a Disco Passive that can help you, that's a trump card. Maybe even Athena ult sometimes to, for safety reasons and maybe for aggressive reasons. That could be a trump card. I mean, basically anything that can affect your lane without them really having to commit too much makes it really hard for the enemy solo to do much. Blue is up again. Let's see if we can go grab that real quick. I did too much damage to it. So we're going to be going for this Rated Edge next into Shogun's. Get a little bit of magical defense for their Hera. And it'll also give us attack speed, which goes in line with the theme of the build. And CDR never hurt no one. Except for the enemies. We we'll grab our own blue to keep the hyper farm going here. Might as well do the backs with our Loki here. Don't really have to, but why not? And we'll do his chalice for him. Probably could just hard push left and then back to as soon as possible for our serrated edge, because that thing is going to pop off. The cool thing about this build is I actually do a lot of damage to tanks as well, because I'll have 30% uh, physical pen. So, once I get my kin size, it doesn't matter who I'm going on, I should be one-shotting them. Because my base damage plus a little bit of power that I'm getting and the attack speed I have will carry me against their carries. And then the uh, phys percent physical pen and the kin size that I'll have will absolutely carry me against their tanks. It'll help me shred them. Plus my passive, like I said before. It's like a mini kin size. So... Physical pen, percent physical pen also works on uh, towers. Here's the damage I'm talking about. Look at that. This guy's got a void shield. And he's going to shot by it. So Raid Edge is so nice on Erling because you... Wait, did they change it yet? No, no, no. So, okay, so next patch, it's going to be um, based on each ability that's on cooldown. So one ability is on cooldown, you'll get power from it. You'll get the, the passive effect. Two abilities, then you get a little bit extra. Three abilities, then you get all of it. You don't have to have them all on cooldown to get any effect. Oh, that was awkward. Look at this damage. Just wanted to use my ulti to make sure you can jump away. That shouldn't even have been close, dude. That damage is insane. Maybe, maybe Erling's viable in solo chat. Chat, I'm not even streaming. I just say that reflexively a lot. Okay, I wonder if I could do fire. If I get life steal. Okay, I bet you if, if my ult was up, I could do fire. I could try and solo it. Oh, there's an Apollo. Hello, Apollo. Run! <laughs> this guy's name is House. Like the doctor? He's a doctor. Go do our back, steal them from our low key. We're about to be level 20. 
thought I heard somebody on fire just now, but I think it was Colin. Please don't clip my friend. Maybe we're onto something here with this build. Maybe Erling's more viable than I'm giving him credit for. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you guys making Erling work in solo right now? What's crazy is this god has seen so many changes, so many nerfs. And he's still, like, well, at least in jungle, he's still, like, a pretty good god. Alright, I'm gonna get these wards out. I'm gonna try and solo fire. Enemy missing. Get this on cooldown so I can get the extra serrated red damage. Enemy missing right. <laughs> Kakolin's gonna let me do it. Don't steal it, Kakolin. Don't steal it, Kakolin. Beads. Let's go, we did it. Ah, run! I get life steal from this. <laughs> I get life steal from my serrated. Come back here. Gotcha. <laughs> Dude, they all showed up. Okay, I was actually gonna solo that without, like, pretty fast, too. I was gonna solo that pretty quickly, which is insane. Hello, our guest to my side. I'm Alec. Oh my goodness, that, that damage is ridiculous. <laughs> this build is OP, and I'm not even that squishy, to be honest. Oh, come on, I didn't even get to get the kin size online. That was a bit of a stomp, but that's okay, okay? I promise you that <laughs> maybe your link's just OP. Bro, chill. Okay, okay. Can, we, can, we, can we get a like for that fire giant, dude? I was going to sell that in, what was that? That was probably going to be like 15 seconds. That's actually not, that's actually kind of insane. To be fair, I was fed as hell. I was 18 levels ahead, blah, blah, blah. That's just how it goes sometimes, though. 16k damage, GG. But yeah, that's Erling. I was... Trying to get a video that showed you why Erling maybe isn't as viable in solo, but I guess the build is too strong. Like I said, we were going to round it out with a kin size, then we probably would have sold our boots for a mantle. We would have lost some attack speed for it, but at the end of the day, it would have made us pretty tanky on sieges and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. It's a fun one either way. I haven't uploaded an early gameplay in so long, so we're just going to roll with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I uh, want to know what you guys want me to want me to do next, what you want to see next. I'm trying to do more play-by-plays, trying to show you guys how to play the solo lane on all these different characters. And I also want to mess around with meme builds and stuff like that. This was more of a serious build that you could try out, but I also want to mess around with meme builds. So let me know what meme builds you want to see. Feel free to put them in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and peace out. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,